Every year, Carmen celebrate military achievement in transport and logistics. On land, at sea, and in the air. Once a year we gather together to meet and greet our military friends and recognize the exceptional and the extraordinary. Tonight we meet on film and in spirit as one family in good fellowship and with our Royal Passmaster Her Royal Highness the Princess Royal who presents the awards to our Carmen winners. Pray silence for the master, Colonel Simon Bennett, TDVR. Thank you for joining what is probably one of the most popular events in our Carmen year, our Joint Services Awards Celebration. On this occasion, we congratulate our award winners in particular and our military services overall for their excellent work to keep our nation, its dependent territories and many others safe. Carmen value our military affiliations. Our arms have been borne into modern battle by army transport vehicles. Our flag has flown in operational waters on Royal Navy and Royal Fleet Auxiliary ships. And our plaque has been flown across enemy lines by the Royal Air Force. We are delighted to discover and recognise the outstanding individual achievements of our award winners. And we hope that when the COVID restrictions are relaxed, we can meet and thank you all personally. Until then, it is our pleasure to learn a little about what you do and to congratulate you in film and in spirit. You have our admiration and our support always. Now let us welcome those who serve in Fleet Command Logistics, the Royal Logistic Corps, and in RAF 2 and 38 Group, as we honour those among you who have excelled beyond even the high standards of your peers. Although we cannot wine and dine you in a grand city hall, we still salute you wherever you are from where we stand apart, yet together with you all. The Carmen recognise your commitment, your dedication and your service to Queen and Country, and your fellowship within our family of Carmen. As we tell of your achievements, we show the world who you are and what you do, and we honour and salute you all. But first, at this event every year, we identify an outstanding contribution to safety, military or civil. The Carmen's Safety Award since 1993 is endowed by the Royal Logistic Corps and comprises a silver statuette of an officer of the Royal Wagon Train in 1828. This year recognises a predictive and preventative tyre management system, combating a near thousand annual accidents and over 40 deaths. The winner is Tyre Watch, represented by Carman Glenn Sherwood. Our first military award 
dates back to 1979, the Carmen's Sword of Honour. For last year's most deserving young RLC officer who set new standards for troop commanders, running Norway Railhead Ops for NATO's HQs, US Brigadier Relief in Belgium, 3,000 cadet support on Dartmoor, and Algerian MOD interface in his impeccable French. Finally, operating the largest nine regiment fleet. Congratulations to Lieutenant Harry Ziegler. The Carmen's Royal Navy Cup, founded in 2001, recognizes the most outstanding logistician in fleet command in 2019, who joined HMS Dauntless straight from training, established onboard logistics from scratch, engaged with flotilla and created a new team acting as head of department, while also handling admin for the CO. Effectively, two workloads. Sub-Lieutenant Danielle Tatum. The Royal Navy Medal, founded in 2006, honors the year's exceptional non-commissioned logistician, onshore or in-ship last year producing the best ever flotilla stores office on assignment for HMS Diamond, the new exemplar across the fleet while also helping the generation of HMS Defender, saving £1.2 million in 18 months, then managing a D-store and now aligned number one in engineering support. Chief Petty Officer Supply Chain, Matthew Tallentire. The HMS Northumberland Award, created in 2018, recognises any crew member who has made the greatest contribution to ops and welfare, in this case joining ship in early 2019, filling a long-term gap, improving capability and morale, astutely advising command, instilling discipline, handling abrupt change, loss of shore visits and organising events. and outperforming all other Devonport units in charitable funding. Warrant Officer 1, Darren Wallington. The Carmen's Royal Fleet Auxiliary Award was founded last year and honours achievement in that service by the Technical Superintendent for the £18 million 18-week refit of the Carmen's own ship RFAS Fort Victoria who worked with Camel Laird without corporate management and with crew shortfall, meeting all Lloyd's maritime and Coast Guard requirements, returning ship to sea for outstanding sea trials. Temporary Acting Chief Officer David Mann. Now, as we turn from land and sea, we also welcome our guest of honour. Pray silence for Major General John Crackett, CBTD VR. Let me start by saying that I'm delighted to be your guest at this awards ceremony. I have known your master, Colonel Simon Bennett, for many years, for he is a distinguished senior army reservist. In the latter part of my own army reserve career, I had the privilege of steering the policy and strategy of all three services reserves to build a strong and vibrant capability for the nation. I believe that reserves are a vital bulwark to our regular forces, not just adding scale, some 27,000 were mobilised for Iraq and Afghanistan, but increasingly also to provide specialist skills that regulars find difficult to recruit and train. For example, in cyber, engineering, or the media. And it's not only in warfare. Reservists have recently manned coronavirus testing stations and helped plan and design the Nightingale hospitals. Now, many livery companies support the armed forces, but the Carmen stand out. You were the first livery company to sign the armed forces covenant, committing to give special consideration to our regulars, reservists and veterans. Your commitment dates back to the 1800s and as well as these awards, 
you have welcomed serving and retired servicemen and women into your ranks. More recently, you have arranged affiliations with military cadet units across London. So, thank you for your commitment to our armed forces, and let me add my congratulations to this year's award winners. Once more we fly high with the Carmen's Royal Air Force Cup, which founded in 2001, recognises the greatest contribution by any officer to operational logistics across two and 38 groups in the previous year. Now, the officer commanding number one Air Mobility Wing Bryce Norton, commanding 100 personnel, handling all material deployed or recovered by air globally, despite the loss of all buildings due to asbestos, devising and running solutions in dilapidated premises within 24 hours, safely, quickly, sustainably. Flight Lieutenant Nicholas Brennan. The Carmen's RAF Medal, founded in 2004, identifies the most successful non-commissioned graduate from any year's basic course at the Defence Movement School last year in Air Mobility Wing. Reducing non-compliance, creating new preventions, safely handling dangerous goods, developing, processing, managing and counselling on work practices, fatigue, freight flow, dislocation and evolving carbon neutral pallet bags at no extra cost and improving sustainable waste management. Sergeant Ryan Duffy. The Carmen's 19 Tank Transporter Award, founded in 2014, recognises the greatest contributor to operational output last year. Here, an NCO, the top student class one driver tank transporter was selected as section commander for the NATO forward presence in Estonia, delivering the King's Royal Hussars Battle Group heavy armour with spares, pivotal to exercise defender, the largest military deployment of US, UK, NATO allies and partners in 25 years. He balanced complex chains of command with effective communication with military and civilians alike. Lance Corporal Joe Pickett. The Carmen's 24 Squadron Politzer Cup, founded in 2005, honours significant contribution to unit ops and welfare. Today, an aviator who served in Iraq and Afghanistan is now Chief Flying Instructor for the Squadron, delivering training from basics to cutting edge and futures. Graded above average by the RAF's Central Flying School, training aircrew for the C-130 fleet mentoring, advising and delivering the highest standards of safe and professional flyers. Flight Lieutenant Andrew Griffiths. The company's two mechanical transport RAF award, founded in 2004, goes to the unit's most outstanding contributor, who completed NATO ops in Estonia, voluntarily producing compliance and faster turnaround papers, trailing twin refuelling aircraft, saving time and assets. She then presented two MEC-E capability to AOC, officers, Defence College, cadets and students. She also competed in the RAF Ski Championships, completed the Peru Half Marathon and raised funds for charity. SAC Genevieve Lone. And finally, the Carmen's RLC Cup for the Soldier of the Year, also founded in 2004. It honours any RLC soldier on first tour of duty who has excelled. And today, that's an operational air dispatcher rigging complex loads on multiple deployments at extreme reach with limited gear and time, serving the winning Gore Trophy Team and Bryce Norton Soldier Fund Committee. A multiple army and inter-service sports winner, she snowboards, wakeboards, swims, plays football, hockey and athletics. She instructs,
coaches and leads army championship teams. A star soldier. Lance Corporal Leanne Law. In 1987, her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, was Master of the Carmen. Each year, she joins us to celebrate our military fellowship and our armed forces achievers. Tonight, our Royal Past Master joins us this time on film and in fellowship. Pray silence for Her Royal Highness, Past Master, the Princess Royal. Master, Carmen and award winners, it's a pleasure to join you all as we celebrate the Fellowship of Carmen and the relationship with the services. The Worshipful Company has many members who are or were professionals in the logistics sector and can therefore really appreciate what the men and women have achieved for their service, branch and unit. I hope that knowledge gives added satisfaction to our award winners. Sadly, we cannot congratulate you in person this year for obvious reasons, but I take this virtual opportunity to congratulate you all on your awards and to thank you for all you do. Be proud of your achievements and enjoy your military careers. As Past Master Carmen, I send you all my very best wishes and like the company, long may you flourish root and branch. Your Royal Highness, Master, Wardens, Lords, Ladies and Carmen friends, I would like to propose a toast to the Worshipful Company of Carmen. Root and branch, may it continue and flourish forever, coupled with the name of the Master, Colonel Simon Bennett. The Worshipful Company of Carmen and the Master. Your Royal Highness, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our Joint Services Awards 2020.